Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. My name is Sister B and welcome to Islamic Audio Bites. Another break from our featured read, I will be reading Islam is Against Racism and Prejudice, written by Kia, which can be downloaded from islam.net's website. Let's read. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Islam is against all forms of racism and bigotry on the basis of both revelation and reason. Racism is defined as the belief that one ethnicity is superior to another, or one colour of skin is superior to another, or the people of one country are superior to another. It is a type of prejudice to prejudge some demographics of people based upon their benign and arbitrary physical characteristics. Such repugnant beliefs are the traits of pre-Islamic ignorance, al jahiliya Rather, in Islam, we believe all people are born equal in the sight of Allah, and the only characteristic that makes someone superior to another is righteousness, al taqwa Allah has dignified the children of Adam peace be upon him, all human beings in the world with blessed provisions such as reason, intelligence and empathy. Allah said, We have certainly honoured the children of Adam and carried them on the land and sea and provided good things for them and we favoured them over much of what we created with the decisive preference. Surah Al-Isra 70, Allah created races and tribes so that people would recognise each other and learn from each other, not so that the races would fight each other. Ethnic diversity is part of the divine plan, a means of enrichment. Allah said, O people, we have created you, male and female, and made you into nations and tribes that you may know one another. Verily, the most noble of you to Allah is the most righteous of you. Verily, Allah is knowing and aware. Surah Al-Hujurat 49,13 In fact, Allah created different skin colours and languages as a sign of his creative power. Just as flowers come in many different colours, all as different divine signs in Allah's creation, so do human beings come in different colours. Allah said, Among his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and the diversity of your languages and your colours. Verily, in that are signs for people of knowledge. Surah Al-Rum Surah Al-Rum 30,22 Abu Musa reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Verily, Allah Almighty created Adam from a handful which he took from the earth. So the children of Adam come in accordance with the earth. Some come with red skin, white skin, or black skin and whatever is in between, thin, thick, dirty and clean. al tirmidhi 2955 Righteousness is the only quality that makes someone virtuous in the sight of Allah, not race or skin colour or lineage or social status or country of origin. This message against racism and tribalism was delivered by the Prophet, peace be upon him, during his farewell sermon, demonstrating to us how important it is in Islam. Abu Nadra reported, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said in the final days of the pilgrimage, O people, your Lord is one and your father Adam is one. There is no favour of an Arab over a foreigner, nor a foreigner over an Arab, and neither white skin over black skin, nor black skin over white skin, except by righteousness. Have I not delivered the message? Ahmed. 22978. Uqba ibn Amir reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, No one is better than anyone else except by religion or good deeds. It is enough evil for a man to be profane, vulgar, greedy, or cowardly. Al Iman 4767. Abu Dar reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, 
Behold, verily, you have no virtue over one with white skin or black skin, except by favour of righteousness. Ahmad 20885 Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, said, A man might say to another man, I am more noble than you, yet no one is more noble except by the mindfulness of Allah. Al-Adab al-Mufrad 898 The Prophet, peace be upon him, would rebuke his companions if they ever denigrated people because of their race, lineage or status. In one well-known incident, he sternly criticised his companion, Abu Dar, for disrespecting Bilal because he was of African descent and had dark skin colour. Abu Umama reported, Abu Dar reproached Bilal about his mother, saying, O son of a black woman! Bilal went to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and he told him what he said. The Prophet, peace be upon him, became angry and then Abu Dar came, although he was unaware of what Bilal told him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, turned away from him and Abu Dar asked, O Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, have you turned away because of something you have been told? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Have you reproached Bilal about his mother? By the one who revealed the book to Muhammad, peace be upon him, none is more virtuous over another except by righteous deeds. You have none but an insignificant amount. Al-Iman 4760 Boasting about lineage and ancestors is forbidden in Islam, since all people are descended from Adam and his wife, peace be upon them. No one is better than anyone else because of the family they were born into or the status they inherited. The only criterion of superiority is faith and righteous deeds. Abu Huraira reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Verily, Allah has removed from you the pride of the time of ignorance with its boasting of ancestors. Verily, one is only a righteous believer or a miserable sinner. All of the people are the children of Adam, and Adam was created from dust. Tirmidhi 3955 In another narration, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, O people, Allah has removed the slogans of ignorance from you and the exaltation of its forefathers. The people are only two kinds, either a righteous, God-fearing believer, dignified to Allah, or a wicked, miserable sinner, insignificant to Allah. The people are all the children of Adam, and Adam was created from dust. Allah said, O people, we have created you, male and female, and made you into nations and tribes that you may know one another. Verily, the most noble to Allah is the most righteous of you. Tirmidhi 3270 And in another narration, the Prophet said, Whoever is slow to good deeds will not be hastened by his lineage. Muslim 2699 Likewise, tribalism is a horrendous sin, which is defined in Islam as loyalty to one's tribe or family over the principles of justice. The Prophet, peace be upon him, disavowed himself and Islam from anyone who acts according to the various ideological and cultural manifestations of tribalism. Jubair ibn Mutim reported, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, He is not one of us who calls to tribalism. He is not one of us who fights for the sake of tribalism. He is not one of us who dies following the way of tribalism. Abi Dawood 5102 Malcolm X, known by his Muslim name al Hajj Malik al-Shabazz, was the famous African-American activist who struggled against institutional racism in mid-20th century America. At first, he embraced a path of extremism in his confrontation with white supremacy, but his heart changed when he performed his Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca. In Mecca, Malcolm X saw all kinds of people from different races and ethnicities united by the Hajj pilgrimage as one brotherhood. He wrote back to his friends in Harlem saying, America needs to understand Islam because this is the one religion that erases from its society the race problem. Throughout my travels in the Muslim world, I have met, talked to and even eaten with people who in America would have been considered white. But the white attitude 
was removed from their minds by the religion of Islam. I have never before seen sincere and true brotherhood practiced by all colours together, irrespective of their colour. During the past 11 days, here in the Muslim world, I have eaten from the same plate, drunk from the same glass, and slept on the same rug, while praying to the same God with fellow Muslims, whose eyes were the bluest of blue, whose hair was the blondest of blonde, and whose skin was the whitest of white. And in the words and in the deeds of white Muslim, I felt the same sincerity that I felt among the black African Muslims of Nigeria, Sudan and Ghana. We were truly all the same because their belief in one God had removed the white from their minds, the white from their behaviour and the white from their attitude. I could see from this that perhaps if white Americans could accept the oneness of God, then perhaps too they could accept in reality the oneness of man and cease to measure and hinder and harm others in terms of their differences in colour. Malcolm X's letter from Mecca. That is it for today. The book's details, including where it can be downloaded from, is on the episode details. Please do join the Islamic Audio Bytes community on Facebook to feedback or any other comments that you may have. Do remember to share our podcast with family and friends. It is on all the major platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Podbean, amongst others. Also, any reviews on the platform would be greatly appreciated. It just ensures that we stay in the right charts. We are also quite active on Instagram, YouTube and Twitter. Do check out our website at islamicaudiobytes.com. Thank you once again for joining us today. Hope your day is full of goodness. Assalamu alaikum.